Hi there, hey there, hello there guys. Welcome back. It is Sunday the uh, 11th. No, probably. Yeah, it's 11.33 a.m., 64 degrees. It is rainy and nasty. We're on our way to church and wanted to stop in and say hello. Hello, honey, how are you? Hello, honey, I'm going fine. You just never know what you're gonna get with this man. Never, never, never know. I don't either, I don't, I don't make it up. I'll just go with the flow. It's out. Uh -huh. My nose is itching so bad. Um, one thing that was super duper nice was the fact that even though it was raining, I didn't get wet, I didn't get muddy, because I have a carport now. So yay, I'm so happy about that. And the people at church are happy about that too, because they don't have to worry about cleaning up my mud from the stairs. How you feeling? Good. I just don't like all this rain stuff. Never did like rain. I don't like any of it. I don't like rain. I don't like snow. I just, I, I want to be normal. Nope. I don't like that either. But, uh, yeah, so it's just a church day. Um, I think we're going to stop by and feed the cats and water the cats. Well, he will. I'm not going to get out probably because I don't feel like getting wet. And then I'm going to come back home and I have a roast. I'm going to make some more of that stew stuff that I made before that was pretty good yep and then i guess we're just gonna have a relaxed chill day at home i mean there's not much to do in the rain you can't really do anything um kind of busy day tomorrow though yeah tomorrow's a busy one but it's all right i mean we're gonna make it it'll be absolutely fine gonna have to get our scale because i have no earthly idea what i weigh but i know him uh his stomach is like going away like big time he's like melting like bad bad well not bad good but you can definitely tell it and even in his chin it's hanging a little lower because it's not as cool it's bad in my pants but they keep falling i keep getting it out of my belt uh -huh. i always had that problem though I've, I've never had a big butt so all my pants is forever it was always just falling and i'm not sure what my weight is because i haven't had a scale which we'll get today so yeah, and I mean, yesterday was a one meal a day, and you guys saw that. We didn't do anything but that one meal, which was fine, but I just could not eat as much as I wanted to because as hungry as I was, I mean, I... Yeah, it's good yet quick. I ate half that bowl, and I was done. But I did notice this morning when I got up that I did have some bleeding on the inner thigh. And guys, tomatoes. I know it's tomatoes, but what do you do when you absolutely positively love a food a food that's not bad for you but wrecks your body i mean i just don't understand you know I, it makes me very angry but i had a big bleeding episode this morning when i went to go take a shower so that upsets me greatly and i don't like it and I want to say, oh, well, I'm not going to eat tomatoes for a while, and I'll try it just to see what happens. But, you know, transparency. You I don't, I, yeah, I don't think I can. I mean, I know that they hurt me. I know that they're not good for me. But, daggone, guys, I just don't know. And it's been so long since I went and saw a doctor about all this. But now that uh, we do have medical, uh, I'm going to go and get checked out see if there's anything that can be done i mean if anything i know a lot of people talking about that they could get their bandages covered and stuff by the insurance and if that's the case that'd be great because i spend so much money on well, band-aids and tape we both just need honestly checked out until it's been a long time it has been and i mean keto for the most part has kept me pretty healthy other than the conditions that i already knew that i had and you know keto's helped with that a lot but you know it's always good i guess and so we're gonna do it we're gonna get all that stuff set up we just got a really busy week ahead of us um i'm starting training for another program the end of this week and it's six hour training days um and then i still have to work on top of that so we'll see how that all goes but i don't really have anything else i want to say and i don't want to just end the video without asking you do you have anything else you want to say i hope everybody had a good week and Hopefully it's not raining in your area like it is here today. Some areas might need it. Huh? 
Some areas might need the rain. Well, the areas that don't need the rain and it's raining, it's gloomy like it is here, then I feel for you. But the leaves are changing, though, like really a lot. I know, and when it rains like this, it pushes them all off, and then we don't ever get to see them real pretty. At least we're having a fall this year. Last year was kind of like... You woke up and all the leaves Yeah, all the leaves gone. were gone. So it's actually going to change the colors, which I'll have to get Ken to film one on the way home. That one certain spot's so pretty, you'll see all the different colors and stuff. So yeah. fall is definitely here, and that's about it. That's it. So we'll check in with you guys after church and see what's going on then. Even see out there in these hills, but it is starting to really turn the colors. There you go, there's a little bit of it. But it just looks so pretty when you're looking back in there. I just wish there was more of the orangey, like yellowy colors. And it's mostly going to a burnt color. Um, but yeah, this is up the, the holler where we used to, to live. We just had to stop and feed and water the cats and all that stuff. They're actually coming to the new house tomorrow. So. Yay! Yay! Yeah, hey. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys this hauler. I just made it back from the store. Um, making husband some little smokies with some of the sweet baby rays. He really likes this stuff. Three grams of carbs. And, I mean, he doesn't really eat much. So, uh, he probably will eat the whole pack of the little smokies. Um, and that's 16 carbs. But that's all right. And then he has this. So, he's fine. Not going to worry about that. Um, I'm getting ready to make my food. But I wanted to tell you guys, oh my God, while we were at Walmart, the strangest thing happened, and I'm just going to make my salad, um, organic spring mix, I'm making some of this. Um, we were getting ready to go to the checkout, and then I looked over and I saw a lemon, well I saw a lime, and if you have a garbage disposal, a friend of mine told me this, to take a lemon and to quarter it. And then throw it down your garbage disposal, and it makes your whole house smell like lemons. And I'm like a lemon fiend, so I'm going to do that. But anyway, I looked over and I saw a lime, so it reminded me of a lemon. So the husband went to go find the lemon. There was a lady who was sitting there at the where the strawberries were. And guys, I've never seen anybody do this, and I just thought this was just like so rude and uncalled for. Um... I am taking half of the spring mix for one salad. But she had opened up maybe three to four containers of the strawberries and was picking and choosing the strawberries that she wanted. She had literally touched every single, <coughs> excuse me, every single solitaire strawberry in those packages that lady had touched. And when you get a minute, can you stir your smokies to make sure they're sticking? And I was just like, you know, especially in this day and age, everybody's so phobic anyway. You know, even food phobic people are food phobic. Um, I have a tendency to be food phobic. I don't like people touching my stuff. And, you know, it's just how I am. And she literally... Every single one of them. And usually, Quincy's not... He don't really watch people in the stores and see what they do and stuff. I mean, as far as, like, when they do stuff like that, he just, like, doesn't watch them. He literally sat there and was watching her. What are you thinking? Well, when I worked at Walmart, we got people on that. We made them leave and made them pay for the food that they touched. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, they're already, that's what he was saying, they're already been pre-weighed. It'd be different. It was like the loose if they oranges. Were loose fruit. They're yeah. Little, they're in prepaid pack, prepaid packages. They're just supposed to grab, and and it's just weird. I don't. So and with fruit and stuff like that, I mean, <coughs> I'm sorry, I had some in my throat. But with fruit and stuff like that, I mean, you can rinse fruit, but you can't like wash fruit. You can't soap and water. You know the fruit. You just can't do that. And so I'm sitting here thinking, you know, she literally just put her hands on every single strawberry. People are going to come behind her and they're going to get these. And then they're just going to go home and they're going to give them a rinse like what we do. I know there's like some kind of health rinse you can do with vinegar or something. But I mean, come on. Who really does that? Nobody. See, even myself. I sat here and started cutting this cucumber. 
and I didn't even think to rinse it. Uh, so I'm going to have to do that in a minute. But, you know, somebody's going to take those strawberries home and they're just going to barely rinse them and then they're going to consume them. And her hands, which you don't know where her hands have been, and apparently she doesn't care to put them anywhere because she's been in every single solitary uh, strawberry container. I mean, she ain't going to care about nothing. It just really bothered me. And, you know, some of you are probably thinking... Oh, you're just being blah, and I probably am just being blah about it, but that, I don't know, it just really bothered me, because, I mean, I don't, I just never would have thought in my wildest dreams that she would do that, and she had already done it to one whole container, because she already had a container in her buggy, so she was working on her second one, so I don't know how long she was staying there, and I don't know about if in your all's Walmarts or whatever, the strawberries are right up in the front. So she was up in the front of the store. So I know that they had to have saw what she was doing, but nobody said anything to her. And I was thinking, man, if it was like blueberries, she'd be there for years. <laughs> her husband was like, well, honey, what took you so long? Oh, I had to go through every single blueberry. I mean, that's just ridiculous, guys. And if you're one of those people that do that, shame on you. I'm sorry, but that... That's just horrible because you're just putting your fingers all over stuff that people are going to be consuming. And it's just not right. I think it's pretty crappy. And if I wasn't such a small person and not physically fit to fight anybody, I would have said something. <laughs> How'd it go? Well, I'm just saying for me, I want to, I'm doing half, a, uh, hand me two of those little small bags too, please. Um... I'm a small person, but I have a tendency to be very outspoken. If you were a dog, you would be a chihuahua. Which, I should not be as outspoken as I am for the simple fact that I can't defend myself. Like, and I know the husband's really scared, and he always told me, he says, your mouth is going to get you in trouble, and if you end up getting yourself in trouble, and it's your fault, he said, I ain't going to say nothing, but if anybody ever says anything to you, well, and it's a, not your fault. Of course, a man's different. Well, yeah, but he's talking with women. Because, well, man, women, I'm, oh, God, I'm catty. But, um, you know, he was like, if you ever say anything, you know, you better be able to take care of yourself. Because if you cause it, it's on you. And, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I completely agree with that. If I say something to get myself in trouble, I don't expect anybody else to get me out of it. But, um... I just couldn't help but watch her with them strawberries. <laughs> and I just... People were going by going. Everybody was like watching her. I was like, what is she doing? It's got avocado. I was like, why is she doing that? I mean, what serves the purpose? I mean, I understand that you want to get the, the best strawberries. Well, nobody likes getting strawberries or pack these fruit and come home and find out that some of them Half are bad. Of them are yeah. bad. But you just have to kind of look through it and stuff. And I mean, I'm not saying... If it's loose, then you feel free to pick through all you want to. But if it's packaged, you don't need to be doing that. It's not fair to people. Uh, this is not. This, this all should be said on the topic. Yeah, but um, I was making me some, Let's see. some lunch. No. Um, I was going to go ahead and make that roast today. But we still have the leftover stuff from last night. Even though it hurt me, it wasn't bad. I'm not still bleeding. It was just a spout of blood. <laughs> I'm making excuses because I really like this stuff and I want to eat it. But, um... Let me turn this off. It, it wasn't like it was a blood bath. Yeah, it wasn't anything like that. It was just someone... It irritated you. It irritated yeah. you. So, I don't want to waste food. I don't believe in wasting food. So, I have that. So, we're going to eat it. I mean, that's how I feel about it. Hand me that chicken, honey. There's a fly in this house. Um, and the hubby talked me into getting a rotisserie chicken. I didn't talk you into it. I grabbed it here. You, you can have Because you like them a lot. I do. And so I'm going to have a, some of the rotisserie chicken. This is the lemon pepper. What? Oh. Just show them something. Oh. Um, ah, it's putting me in the face. <laughs> but I'm going to have some of my rotisserie chicken. Go away, the fly. And the husband is having little smokies and some pepper jack cheese he's going to have on the side. So I just wanted to tell you guys my little story. I was so whatever about it, but it's over now. It's all good. 
It's all good. I'm probably actually going to eat about half this chicken right now, just so y'all know. This is weird. Yeah, in full transparency, I'm going to eat half this chicken. I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to eat it. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, so, we'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to cut it and eat the floor. <clears throat> guys, when I told you I was going to eat half of a chicken, I wasn't kidding. I literally cut the thing in half. So, I'm going to eat just half a chicken. And then here's my salad. I'm going to put some olive oil on it, salt and pepper. And that's what I'm going to be eating right now. Okay, guys. So, we found these today at our Walmart. Surprising. And this is the blueberry one. The hubby got um, strawberry. Not sure how we're going to like them yet. But we're going to give them a good go. See what we think about them. There's only three carbs for the whole container. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and have our last meal for the day. Um, it's a little bit after 11. This is just the leftover goulash that I had yesterday. So we took what was left and just put up, and we're splitting it. So this is just hamburger, a can of tomatoes, cauliflower rice, onion, bell pepper. That's it. And of course your seasonings and cheese and stuff. But that's what we're going to eat before we go to bed. We're going to watch this a Halloween movie. What was it called? Blood something. I don't know. Something we found on Netflix and we're going to watch it. So that's what we're going to do. But as for this video, this will be the end of it for right now. So we'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.